my friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Lexi and today we are doing a review of gbfke.com they were nice enough to send me some goodies to share with you all and to test out and review and so that's what we'll be doing in this video today if you've never heard of jbfke they are a budget-friendly company online that you can order diamond painting kits from, but they have a lot more than that. They also have cross-stitch, they have epoxy resin molds, they have diamond painting supplies, and they have regular painting kits as well. They have on-canvas diamond painting, and they also have some of those really cool off-canvas projects like the bookmarks and the fidget spinners and different things like that too. So make sure to check them out. I will link them below and all of the products that they sent me, I will link below as well. Uh, full disclaimer, they did offer to send me these at no cost. However, my opinions are my own and I will let you know what I think of the products. So let's get into it. So the shipping time on this was pretty good. I think it was about 10 days um, that it took to get to me, it is international shipping. It does come from overseas, and so it does take a little bit longer than if you were to order from somewhere in your own country, but, you know, with international shipping, that is to be expected. So let's pull these out. They were very nice to me. They let me pick out a few things that I thought I would like, and they sent them on over to me. So let's get started. Let's open this one on top here. Sorry for the crinkling. <laughs> As I always say in my videos, I feel like. <laughs> okay, let's move these up off to the side here. So our first painting here is this adorable little dragon. I have been getting into dragons recently. I was not previously into dragons. I um, only recently started really getting into uh, doing stuff with dragons. And so I saw this, it was super cute. Let me hold him up a little bit here so you can see, hopefully there's not a glare. He's very colorful and he's kind of cutesy looking. He's like a baby dragon. He's not uh, big and scary yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, and he's going to have some special drills in there. So we will definitely open those and take a look. He's very colorful uh, based on the print already on there. But let's take a look at the drills and see what we've got. So this is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. And so it comes with our drills that are in these little heat sealed packages. It also comes with a diamond painting kit, which is everything that you need to diamond paint. A pen, a little boat to put your drills in, and some wax. Okay, ooh, these are gorgeous. Okay, let's flip it over so we can actually see them here. So these are going to be all crystal rhinestones, it looks like. Rhinestones. <laughs> Sometimes I accidentally say rhinestones, and I feel silly. <laughs> so these are crystal rhinestones. I've got some orange and some pink. A beautiful turquoise color, look at that. Very beautiful. Ooh, look at that lime green. I love that. There's a beautiful sort of orange amber color. Okay, now we're getting into the specials. So these are some round uh, orange drills, but it looks like they have a little bit of an AB coating on them. They're very sparkly and pretty. We've got some sort of pear-shaped champagne-colored drills. Really, really pretty. Oh, 
and there's some more round amber colored drills and then look at these very very pretty a b type uh metallic looking drills those are gorgeous so let's see where these will be going this is number nine it looks like so where's the number there's a lot of these so let's see where these are gonna go number oh number nine is the symbol d oh okay so it's gonna go in here in his little face and up in his scales and kind of like dotted all around here very cute and i think i'm gonna have a lot left over because there aren't very many places on the canvas that he, they, those go so there will be a lot of those left over some of the other specials are gonna just kind of go in here oh and in his little toe beans he's gonna have some specials Ooh, and then those sort of um teardrop or pear-shaped ones are gonna go in his scales in his back here and then let's see what was a number six oh yeah these kind of like fiery sunset looking ones they're gonna go in his wings very cute very cute well i can't wait to work on this this is gonna be so cute i just love special drills and i love uh working on little canvases like this they're very fun for in between the big canvases that we work on <laughs> so let's take a look at measurements here he's about 10 inches by 10 inches and then let's see centimeter wise the actual drill area and that's a little bit shy of 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters and then yeah the actual entire canvas is 30 centimeters but the actual part that you are going to put the drills on is about 25 centimeters very cool. Now he was folded up a little bit because of like the way they have to ship them. Obviously they have to fold them up a little bit. So he does have some creases, um, but I'll just put some heavy books on it maybe. Um, sometimes you can kind of flip them over, put a tea towel over it and iron out some of these creases on a very low setting. <laughs> don't, don't melt your glue in your plastic, but, uh, uh, sometimes you can iron out the creases, but I might just put some books on them for a couple days and get some of these wrinkles out. So very cute. I love him. He's cute. And I'm excited to have so many special drills. There's going to be a lot left over. So that's very exciting. So let's move him out of the way. And we'll look at our next one here. Okay. This next one is also a special drill canvas. Let me try to roll him back a little bit. goodness he's just a cute little fuzzy owl <laughs> he's so cute and I chose this one because I love owls I have loved owls since I was a little kid and always kind of collected owls um but I the other thing that I really liked about this one is he's got these funky little antlers coming out and I always like things with antlers my husband is a hunter and he loves deer and so I always am drawn to things with antlers. <laughs> so I just thought that was so funky and cute. So he's kind of got some intricate designs in here and it is a small canvas. It's only 30 by 30. 
but I thought that since this is a partial with special drills, not a full drill canvas, I thought that it would be okay. Um, it's a, that it's a small design. Um, I think it'll be really cute. I just love him. So let's take a look at the drills. Again, this comes with everything that you need to diamond paint, boat, wax, and pen. And let's take a look at these beautiful rhinestones. Okay. So we've got some clear crystal rhinestones. Oh, that's a pretty color. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's kind of one of those like champagne type colors, very light. And then sort of a darker amber color. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, like a darker brown, maybe. Oh, and there's an even darker brown. So I'm guessing those are will be like throughout his little feathers down here. Ooh, a very pretty light pink. I'm hoping this is focusing all right. <laughs> and some more pink. Ooh, look at that. I love that turquoise blue. Where's that gonna go? I think up here in these flowers, probably. In his little headpiece. Ooh, very bright pink. Sort of fuchsia color there. Okay, now we're getting into, now we're talking. Now we're into the special shapes. And this one is sort of a teardrop shape. That bright fuchsia color, and I'm thinking it's going in here in his little headpiece that he's wearing. And then let's see, what is this one? 11 B. So, oh yeah, these are gonna go here in the flowers. So cute. Oh, I love this emerald green. So I think these are gonna go in here. Oh, maybe the bigger ones. And then some lighter green. So pretty. Oh, I can't wait to work on these. I just love, 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 love the specials. They're so special. So that's going to be really cute. So those green ones, those smaller green ones are going to be dotted in here throughout so cute. I'm so excited. So we'll measure. I have a feeling it will be similar to the other one where, you know, the entire canvas is 30, but then the actual drill field is probably going to be like 25, I'm guessing. Ooh. It's actually a little bit bigger than 30 centimeters for the whole canvas and the drill field is yep 25 and yeah, let's flatten it a little bit a little bit more than 25. cute look at his eyes his eyes are so cute love it love it love it okay last one this one i'm really really excited for uh this one i got uh, for a particular event that is coming up, and I am so excited. So, so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's stuck. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. I'm hoping this one works out. Okay. Again, same thing. Boat, wax, and pen. So that's very nice. <clears throat> Ooh, fantastic. So the drills came in Ziploc bags. I appreciate that so much. I love when companies do this when they actually put them in the Ziploc bags instead of the vacuum heat sealed bags. This is so much nicer. I wish every company did this. 
Okay, let me uh, try to flatten this out a little bit. Again, just, you know, with the shipping, it's like, they have to ship it somehow, right? <laughs> it gets a little wrinkly and all that, so. Okay. Dun, da, da, da. I hope that you're able to see this with the glare. <laughs> this is a Sailor Moon diamond painting. And the drill field, the symbols look clear, but the actual like rendering does not look very clear. Uh, just on camera here. So I will insert a picture of what the original artwork looks like. So it's the whole Sailor Moon gang here. Um, their faces are a little bit hard to make out, but you can see in the middle here is Sailor Moon. She's right here. <laughs> and then they've got the whole cast of characters like Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mercury and, and uh, Sailor Mars and all the all the cast of characters. Um, is the cat on here? Oh no, is the cat not on here? I don't think so. So Luna, the cat, I don't think is on here. I'm not seeing her. But it's a really pretty painting. I don't know if you can tell on camera here, but um, so it's all the people in the middle here and they're kind of um, surrounded by the cherry blossoms and Looks like a midnight sky around here. So the symbols are very clear. It's got 20 colors. I was a little bit nervous about just like the size with it being a very detailed picture, but we'll see how it turns out. So I got this for the Sailor Summer event that is coming up and I'll link below where you can find information on that if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I got this painting with that <clears throat> event in mind. I love Sailor Moon. I started watching Sailor Moon when I was in high school. I actually think it came out like the year I graduated. So as I was leaving high school, <laughs> I think is when it came out. And I had the cutest Sailor Moon t-shirt and just loved Sailor Moon. I loved her because she was like very accident prone and kind of like, not ditzy, but just like kind of clumsy and like she's scared of everything too. She's very anxious. And I was like, that's me. <laughs> I'm like that. Um, so I really always loved Sailor Moon. Um, but she gets to be a hero. And uh, so it's such a cute story. Um, I have all the um, Sailor Moon mangas. And I just, I just love her. So, um, so yeah, so let's take a look um, at the drills. So these are rounds. I believe that I specifically chose round because I think on there, I'll have to look, I think you can choose squares for this one. Um, I'll have to look. Um, but I think I will probably bling it up a little bit and add some of my own flair like I like to do. Let's take a look at some of these. We won't go through all the colors for the sake of time, but we'll take a look at these. Oh, look at these purples in here. My eyes were drawn right to these beautiful purples. Gorgeous. We've got some beautiful yellows and oranges. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The drills look to be good quality. I'm not seeing any yucky stuff in there. They look nice. We've got some bright red. I was interested to see the blues. What are the blues looking like? That's black. There's our blues. Pretty. And then I'm guessing this is black up in here in the sky. Those are probably the sky colors. Very pretty. So I am so excited to do this one. I kind of want to start it now, but it's not time. <laughs> it's not time yet. So I'll be so excited to do this one. 
very pretty very pretty so I am excited so thank you so much to gbfke.com for sending these to me I am so excited I have never ordered from this company before and so I'm very excited to try out their products so far so good I'm uh, I really like that they have the drills in the Ziploc bags for this particular painting it makes it so much easier for kitting up and kitting down I do save my drills um, when I kit down. I know some people, it's kind of a personal choice. Some people do and some people don't. I like to save mine just in case I ever need drills in the future for something um, or if I want to do other craft projects with them. I do keep my drills. So what I do is when a company has these little Ziploc bags, I just save these and then when I'm done with the painting, I just pour them right back into these so that um, just keep, makes it easier to store them. So I definitely appreciate that. Alrighty, so we've got our Sailor Moon painting. You know what, we did not measure this though. So this is 40 by 50 centimeters. Oh, I got a loose drill. So let's take a look. So I hope I'm getting this on camera here. <laughs> it is 40. And this way, no, I'm not going to get this on camera. It is 50, uh, it's a little bit short of 50. Let me, let me make sure it's flat here. This is another one. I think I'll have to put some books on it. It's a little, oh yeah, it's 50. Okay. And then let's look at the actual drill field. I'll probably just put some books on this to kind of flatten it out a little bit because it does have the ridges on it from being folded. So the actual drill field is about 35 by by 45. So 35 by 45 for the actual drill field. So yeah, I will insert the original artwork, of course, so that you can see it. It is hard to see because the symbols are on here. Um, yeah, I am so excited. I hope this turns out cute. And if it does, this will definitely be one that I hang up um, probably next to my little shelf of manga books <laughs> with Sailor Moon. So yeah, I'm very excited. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I will link uh, to all of these products down below. We've got the Sailor Moon painting, the owl painting with special drills, and of course our cute little baby dragon with special drills as well. So I'm so excited to work on these. I will let you know what I think. Um, you'll definitely see the Sailor Moon kit upcoming in the um, Sailor Summer event. Um, and I will do some post reviews with these as well once I get them finished. So let me know what you think. I will link everything down below. I hope you're having a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.